Hello there. So, <laughs> hi guys, I have not seen you in quite some time. I'm so sorry for being so MIA in the past couple of months. A lot of stuff has been going on. Um, a lot of stuff health wise has started kind of creeping up and kind of took me out of commission for a couple of months. Wasn't really filming um, a lot of things just due to a lot of health reasons. And now I'm back at it again. I'm gonna push forward and we're gonna get through a favorites video. Girl, get in there. <laughs> get in there. So the first favorite that I wanna talk about is a foundation that I've really picked up recently and started using again. It's an oldie but a goodie. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. And this is sort of like a matte full coverage, similar to how the Kat Von D full coverage style that is, but it's a little bit more lightweight. Now I've been going through my makeup stash and I've kind of created like, I want to do a whole series shop my stash here on my YouTube channel. I think that would be really fun to revisit some older, some older goodies. That would be really fun to try back again because there's so many product releases all the time and it's really hard to keep up, especially if you're not making all your money from YouTube. So it's really hard to keep up financially with all the new releases. So sometimes it's fun to go back through your own stash and even play with some old things that you might have forgotten. So I was definitely trying out some older products that I haven't really rotated through my routine in quite some time and I stumbled across this again. This foundation is so nice. I remember back in the day when my skin was a little bit more drier. Now I've kind of gotten it back to a more normal it's still a little combo, but it's not as dry. I don't have as many dry patches as I used to. This foundation was horrible whenever I was on my Retin-A. It would just cling to, to the dry patches and it would just flake so bad. And that was mainly due to the Retin-A, but this foundation did not help it whatsoever. So I remember that's whenever I bought this. And so I rediscovered this when trying out new foundations to wear to work. I wanted something long lasting. And this definitely gives me that long lasting finish, full coverage, and it looks lightweight on the skin. I really don't see this peeling up or starting to really show off my pores a lot. Um, one of my favorite go-to foundations is Estee Lauder Double Wear for work. And I find that sometimes that can create some weird texture on my skin on some days depends on what my skin is doing and so recently my skin just hasn't really been feeling that super caked on dry look even though this is matte and even though this is kind of like a more drier formula it gives me a more natural finish than the Estee Lauder Dove Wear. Does that make sense? So I have really been using this a ton, been loving it and it's just it's so pretty to hold up. It feels so luxurious. <laughs> Talking about some luxury stuff, I do have some luxury and some drugstore we're not going crazy on the luxury side guys. I have really been investing in my skincare ever since um, I was sort of watching Stephanie Nicole and she is brilliant. I love watching her info videos. She gives you the most information in the shortest amount of time and she just does really great structured videos. I really love watching her reviews especially on skincare and I saw that she was a really big fan of Drunk Elephant and Sunday Riley and so I started investing in my skincare. I've always stuck around with the Paula's Choice skincare line and I really really love some of their serums and their moisturizers and their BHA liquid I've really loved and I love learning about ingredients through Paula's Choice. And then whenever I started looking into Drunk Elephant, uh, it started kind of going from there, looking at the ingredients list, what AHA, BHAs do for you, what vitamin C does for your skin, all sorts of things. So I pretty much bought the entire Drunk Elephant line and I wanted to pick out some of my favorites that are in this situation. What was that? So the first product I want to talk about is this Drunk Elephant La La Retro Whipped Cream. And this is the one where you have the pump at the top that you just press down and the moisturizer comes out the top keeps it sanitary doesn't keep your fingers to keep on digging in it and it also helps I've read on Paula's choice where when you have a cap like this it helps stabilize the ingredients that are inside of your moisturizer so that it doesn't lose its efficacy so it still works and it continues to give you results and keeps your skincare basically fresh longer so Yes, please, especially when I'm paying a lot of money for it. So this moisturizer has been really just, it's a basic moisturizer with basic ingredients and it is supposed to be really, really great for your skin. And it has really helped with dry patches. When I was mentioning the foundation earlier, I was really talking about how bad 
my dry skin has been. My dry skin has gotten to the point where it's so bad that it would create like increasing lines in my forehead. My laugh lines would just start to crack and there's parts on my chin that would just look really, really bad. Places where I'm really expressive and my skin moves a lot, I would really notice that I had a lot of dry patches popping up in those areas. So this has really helped that. One thing that my skin tried to do in my early 20s is started to break out. So I've really tried to find products over time that is really for people who are breaking out. Never really found anything because I get the hormonal acne and then I get stress acne. And if any of you know, I'm an ER nurse and being a nurse, especially in the emergency room, can be very stressful. And anytime that your life is stressful, it takes it out on your skin. And so my skin will freak out. I've got a few breakouts right through here. It's just, it's not been a great time the past couple of months. So to help combat that, I've really been looking for something for acne. And I really have been loving this UFO Ultra Clarifying Facial Oil by Sunday Riley. And this smells like tea tree oil. My husband hates the smell of this I love it the smell of tea tree oil brings you back to the days when I started investing like an all burst these facial uh, like skin their whole skincare line and I was obsessed with their tea tree oil as well so it has ingredients in here that's supposed to help with uh, acne breakouts and I would get tiny little dots everywhere I mean it's the tiny ones that you can't really extract you can't really do anything with it takes like weeks and weeks for them to clear up and it's mainly because I know what it is I go and work out I sweat really hard so I work out sometimes I wear a hat sometimes I wear a BB cream and I think that from the increased sweat especially since I've been doing a new program that's making me sweat even more the past couple of months that it has really just inflamed those pores that get really clogged really fast and they stay there forever and so I've noticed a decrease in those clogged those clogged pores with this product so really has been a favorite of mine love 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 this it's very expensive i would try the tiny version first they make a tinier version that's less expensive if you want to see how that does for you but if i notice that i'm starting to get really prone to acne i'll put this on and maybe within like two to three days my skin is so smooth again it all is right in the world and then the next product that I wanted to mention is the um, Drunk Elephant, again, the TLC Frambo 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 oh God. Glycolic Night Serum, and it is amazing. Uh, it's got AHA and a BHA 12% blend. I really love this product. This is sort of like a chemical exfoliant that's not super crazy like a Retin-A. It helps exfoliate your skin since it's a glycolic serum and I don't mix it in with my Retin-A because I have tried starting using a Retin-A again to help decrease the lines that are in my forehead because I really, really don't want to use filler, but your girl likes to move her forehead. So I've really been using this to kind of help decrease any fine lines that's in my face. I'm 25. I know I don't have crazy wrinkles, but there are areas that I wish I could approve upon. And this is also preventative care so that it doesn't get worse. Because there's nothing worse than not taking care of your skin and then regretting it later. Right? Right. So I've really been loving this night serum and I love the pump on these because they just slide right up and down and you don't have to worry about air getting into your products and deactivating the ingredients that are inside of these. So I truly love, I have like their whole skincare lines, but I wanted to really pick out my favorite of the group. I really love their vitamin C as well. I did not bring that in here, but I love their vitamin C serum as well. That is really great in brightening any areas that are really stubborn, like to stay really dark and red. I have very pale skin when I'm not self tanned. So whenever I have an acne spot and it's like really, really dark, I use that vitamin C and it just helps clear my skin and makes it look so much more brighter and smoother. It's just this magic. A few more things. One thing I do want to mention is a mascara. It has recently blown up, but I've had this for about at least two months. I've really been a humongous, humongous fan of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. This little thing, oh, it matches my background. <gasps> I'm like a rose gold freak. So this is heaven. So this little mascara here is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara in Waterproof. I love using waterproof because it keeps my eyelashes curled. I have naturally, I'd say medium to long eyelashes. They're not crazy, but 
they're decent especially whenever I'm not wearing any lashes or anything like that this makes my eyelashes just like look so false they look so fake and so good in real life I don't ever feel like having to wear any false lashes out in public because these just it does it for me I already bought a second tube because this stuff is just so good I would say this is the best drugstore mascara but I'm honestly gonna say I think this is the best mascara ever yeah, I feel pretty confident saying that. This is probably my most favorite mascara that's ever come out. And whenever it gets to dry, it is so good. Another thing that I've been, you know, shopping my stash, going through my brushes, going through my makeup, and everything like that, I've found an old brush that I have not really picked up in a long time. But I was shopping my stash and I found this Bedellium Tools 990 brush. And I've seen where this has been a craze where girls will take these huge fan brushes and use these as like a contouring brush because it's tapered and thin at the end. And using this brush, I remember buying this because I thought it would be a dupe of the Chanel contour brush that they have. But this is a little bit more flimsy and it's a little bit more thin and tapered. I love love using this brush for contour it just fits right in that area it's flimsy enough to help it blend it's not too stiff to create such a stark line that it would place a product there and it would get stuck and it doesn't blend itself out it's perfect and a lot of the times i use a really fluffy brush for just like general bronzing so i can do that same thing here because i can turn it to the side and kind of watch it blend out whatever I'm using. But using this as a contour to create that sharp contour line, this thing has been so good. It's been so easy. Finding you a perfect tool that'll work with the perfect products, it's just, it's magic. I love this. And the last item that I'm gonna talk about, I know it's been all over YouTube. There's been so much controversy with it, but I love it. I mean, I love it. It's the Jaclyn Hill favorites palette. I have a ton of products that Jaclyn Hill has come out with. I've been a huge fan of hers. She truly is just like, she seems like such a sweetheart to me. I don't get why she gets so much hate on her channel. I think there's just, there's a lot of unnecessary hate out there on, especially girls that just do makeup on YouTube. Like it's crazy. And if anybody has the opportunity, especially a YouTuber, to create something online, I'm going to try my best to support them. And I definitely, definitely knew that Jaclyn Hill had poured her heart and soul into this palette. I'm just a little subscriber. I'm just a little nobody here on YouTube. So I'm not trying to sell you anything from Morphe. I know Morphe is a very controversial brand. But besides the fact, this palette is so, so nice. It is more expensive than their other eyeshadow palettes but I kind of don't care. It's that bad to say. I like the brand. I don't get why there's so much hate. I get it's a social media brand and that a lot of people, you know, have a lot of affiliate links and that messes some people up. But you know, Unique was a huge brand and everybody was affiliated some way when selling Unique because they sold it and they were making a profit on it and then they wanted you to buy it and then you become a seller and they would make a profit off of what you did. It's a pyramid scheme and it, I think, you know, Morphe's working in a very similar way. Sigma did the same thing. Sigma is an affiliate program. Morphe is an affiliate program. I mean, there's so many affiliate programs out there with different brands. So anyway, that was my mini rant. But besides all that, let's just focus on the palette. So <clears throat> I've been a huge fan of MAC Nylon. That is like one of my top favorite highlighting shades for the brow bone and in the inner corner. I love this shade. This is similar to MAC Nylon. And this is one of my other favorite shades. This really bright pink. This really pretty like canary yellow almost. Um, I really, I love this blue. Like this blue is so good. I want to do a tutorial on it. And to be honest, I've been off of YouTube for so for so many months now and just haven't felt inspired to come back until I saw this palette and it really made me want to come back to doing YouTube. I wanted to do tutorials on it, not because I wanted views for the palette, but I just, it made me feel inspired and feeling inspired is very important as far as like the creative outlet that this is for me. And so I really felt strongly about this palette and supporting this. And I just feel like there's so many things I want to do with it. And then there's so many other things that I want to do with other palettes. This palette has it all. It has the light shimmery shades, which I appreciate. It has a lot of lid shades, crease shades, and they even got a dark charcoal black, which I love to use. 
it's just this is an everything palette you can use this whenever you go traveling you have everything that you could possibly need it's right up my color alley so I really enjoy this palette one thing I will say is that a lot of influencers I saw got little cards that said the names of what the shadows were I never received anything nothing not even the little card that came with it not the big card that came with it I didn't receive anything that had the names of these shadows on it so I don't know what the deal with that was but I'm not heartbroken over it I'll deal with it I love the shadows they're really good if you can get it next time that it comes out I'd get it and I think the next launch date is in August so that is everything from me guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video leave me a comment about what your current favorites are what I need to check out even though my husband and my bank account won't like it so much I will I will leave all my social media links in the down bar below or somewhere here in the video and here I'll leave some links to some videos that I have done in the past if you'll watch and support me that would be really really great thanks so much for supporting my channel and coming back to come see me I love you guys so so much and that is it. Bye guys.